The changing scenario of first-line therapy in non-oncogene-addicted NSCLCs in the era of immunotherapy. Via critical reviews in oncology, hematology, open access. Publication date, available online June 18, 2018. Source critical reviews in oncology, hematology. Authors, Aruso, T. Franchina, G. R. R. Richardi, G. Toscano. S. Schifano, G. Locerdo, Abataglia, E. Panto, M. Scafidi Fonti, V. Adamo. During the last two decades frontline treatment of metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, has profoundly changed moving from the old one-size-fits-all concept to a histology-based approach and then, for a small subgroup of patients to a molecularly selected one. The development of immune checkpoint inhibitors and the unprecedented results reported in 2ND-3RD line prompted the evaluation of these novel therapeutic agents in chemotherapy-naive patients either alone or in combination with platinum-based chemotherapy. Several randomized trials are evaluating the impact of immune checkpoint inhibitors in first line and some of them have yet produced preliminary evidence of efficacy. However, Still a long way to go and several questions are still unanswered, including proper patient selection, optimal sequential, combinatorial use of these agents, appropriate treatment duration, and finally the identification of predictive biomarkers. The aim of this paper is to provide a comprehensive overview on the growing role of immune checkpoint inhibitors in the upfront treatment of advanced non-oncogene addicted NSCLC either as single agent or in combination with other agents. ADDAGS, currently, Cancer, Medicine by Alexandros G. Sfakianakis, 